everybody. I hope you're doing good tonight. This video will contain copyrighted bullshit being used underneath the Fair Use Act for educational purposes. You know, Mark and Patricia lied their asses off to the Flat Earth community. It was about a week or two ago. They told the Flat Earth community the public couldn't attend the viewing of their documentary. You know what? It was a straight up freaking lie. Because you can see right here, you could buy tickets for the three different showings. They're about 15 bucks. Why don't they want Flat Earthers there? It would seem like if this was a legit documentary about Flat Earthers, they would be advertising this weeks ago and say, hey, let's make sure uh, the Flat Earth community shows up. You know why they don't want nobody to show up? Because it's anything but about a Flat Earth documentary. It's a Ball Earth documentary about these crazy Flat Earthers. So anyways, I hope there's somebody there at uh, Toronto that wants to go see the, the mockumentary. Because that's what it is. Okay, now let's check this uh, article out. You see Mark Sargent here. You know, he knew he was going to do this documentary. And um, they obviously had him stage in front of this ball and take his uh, eclipse glasses and look at the eclipse. Right in front of this ball earth. Now, if you're a real flat earther, you know this is mocking you. And you would never, ever do it. But Mark Sargent does it but here you go I'll leave the links down below and that's not all, the only one there's this hot docs review and they're just mocking flat earth they claim the the maker um, uh, the guy that was filming them all this time uh, mr. Clark was a, a great guy and this isn't a mockumentary this ain't about uh, a hit piece on flat earth or anything like that when actually it's every bit of a hit piece against flat earth it's a little or a literal conspiracy theory and one spun out over and over again by the likes of mark Sargent and patricia steer who have become superstars in the flat earth youtube community over the last few years they don't offer real answers just innuendos and suspicions steer loves referring to the powers that should not be but that's what keeps people coming back, of course. Look at this bo bottom paragraph. While there's entertainment value in watching the clown show of the fringe weirdos drawn to the movement, one especially enthusiastic dolt swears from the terrarium theory to anti-vaxxer and young earth talking points in a matter of seconds. Clark also offers a compassionate view, hoping that some of the brighter ones that that might be talked back into reality. What he's saying, the brighter ones. In other words, there aren't very many bright people in the flat earth community. That's what the director, Mr. Clark, is implying. And here you have Mark and Patricia telling us this is a great guy and this ain't a hit piece on the flat earth community. It's a ball earth documentary mocking flat earthers. I'll leave the link down below. And I hope somebody in uh, Vancouver, or sorry, yeah, Vancouver, no, it was it Vancouver? I forget where, Toronto, can uh, crash Mark and Patricia's uh, party. They're going to be showing up, I think, for this showing right here. Let's all be there. Why wouldn't they want flat earthers there to support all this? because it's a mockumentary that's why have a good night